Hello chaps and chapesses, and in this week's video we are going to talk about rigging sailfish flies with hook rigs. There's a very, lots of different ways of doing it with nylon, but I prefer to use wired hook rigs, and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to make these. going to do this afternoon is we are going to make one of these. This is a double hook rig for sailfish flies. So this is the simplest rig that I have found and that is to get two hooks and one goes up and one goes down. The way that we rig this is with some 100 pound wire and 100 pound wire goes through the eye of one hook and then we're going to lay it down along the shank of the second hook and then we're going to put it underneath the shank and then we're going to lash it down and then at that point, we're then gonna put some shrink crack tubing on there after we've done a bit of uh, UV glue. And that's it, it's that simple. And it, what it gives you is a very, very easy and strong two-way hook, which you can then feed straight into the back of your tube fly. So what I've got here is some 100 pound, seven strand steel plastic coated wire, and we need approximately 18 centimeters of this. Which is about here. So there we have our wire. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take our ATO hook and we're gonna bend a small loop in the wire And then we are going to feed this around the hook. And out through the top. Get a pair of pliers, give that a bit of a tug. I want these to lay nice and flat. There you go. So this is gonna be on the top and it's gonna feed in upside down. And then my second hook I have already put in the vise. We're gonna lay the hook over the top and you probably want about 15 millimeters from the end of the hook to the back of the shank. And then we're gonna feed these down through the eye. So they lie flat and then we're gonna bend those along the edge of the shank. Like so. So both of those strands are now going to go through the eye of your front hook. So if you give those a bit more of a bend there. So what I've got here is some 200 GSP um, just flat waxed and I'm just going to start the thread on here and I'm going to trim these ends down with my wire cutters just a little bit so these lengths here you want them to protrude about 25 millimeters so all we're going to do is just crop those down a little bit like so I've already started the thread on the fly. So I am just going to wrap these down. Nice tight turns. Want it to lay nice and flat on top there. I'll take that down the hook shank quickly. And then we're gonna bend 
these legs up in this way. And I'm gonna start double wrapping over here. So I'm now wrapping down. So the wires come through the back of the hook, comes up along the top of the shank of the hook, goes down through the eye with both strands, and then it's gonna come back underneath the hook. And then we're just gonna lay it all down. It doesn't need to go too far back. Probably about four millimeters or something. I'm just gonna quickly whip finish that off there. So there we have that, and that is looking nice and secure. So at this point, all I'm going to do is get some, some UV varnish. Just going to give that a nice, good coating. Let it soak right the way through the thread wraps. There's nothing delicate about this process. Well, nothing delicate about it. It was pretty much like most of my fly tying. Get my UV torch. That's done. And just to give it that added security, I like to get some five millimeter shrink wrap tubing, um, which you want to cover most of the area that you have wrapped. So we're just gonna carve a little bit off the end here. I'm just gonna feed that down over the top of my wrappings. So it sits nicely behind the eye. And I'm just literally just going to heat it down. It is important that you don't want to have too much length in between your two hooks, mostly because otherwise if a sailfish does hit it, it's got more leverage. You don't want a fish to have too much leverage um, when that hook is set in its mouth. Obviously debarb them first before you use them. And that is it. Very simple, very effective hook set up for rigging up sailfish flies. All you gotta do then is just feed your mono straight down through the middle, tie your usual knot of choice at the end, and then you may decide to put a banger head on the end. As always, thank you very much indeed for watching this video. I hope you found it of use, and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I shall look forward to seeing you on the next one. Is get some five millimeter shrink wrap, shrimp, shrink wrap tubing. Good, try saying that ten times. Shrink wrap tubing, shrink wrap tubing.